ring number four. So here we can start with the same um, technique as the last ring. So circle zero, enter shift. Uh, I can go 17, shift, enter. I'll go a bit fast because uh, you've got the video, video three, explain how to do this ring. Circle here, shift. And here I'll just do a circle, so it's easier. Wow. Sweep one. Rail cross section. Rebuilt with uh, we don't need that much here. Twelve. That should be alright. And uh, I forgot to close the sweep. So now I want to demonstrate a technique called um, height fill. It means it use um, level of gray images. So we call it sometimes a height field, height map, bump map, displacement map. It's roughly the same thing. And it's a very cool comment in Rhino where uh, first you could draw in Photoshop your own images, or you can go on the web and uh, type maybe height map or bump or displacement, and it's a level of gray images. So sometimes it'll be um, a satellite image, such as this, or the continent, or it could just be a brush from Photoshop. Uh, the more, the higher the resolution, the better. This one looks cool, but 257 is not much. Uh, you don't want like huge, but a little bit more. Uh, this one has a bit of noise, but we can try this one. So view image, right click save, save the image somewhere where you can find it. I'll put it on my desktop. Here type the command height field, select your image, tell him where, how big is your rectangle, where the image, you can go shift, just make it bigger on the ring, on the top view. Number of sample point, it depends how strong is your computer. 650 is quite a bit. Um, okay, I'll try, I'm just afraid it's gonna be too big. Let's go 550. Usually between 450 and 650, I would say. Higher, it will take a long time to generate. Height, it depends on the image. Three mil usually works, but sometimes you need 10. And I usually prefer outputting a mesh. And you see now, uh, three was a bit big. Uh, well, we'll try to use it. So now we have, this has been modeled following that image noise. So a white point can mean very high, gray in between and black very low, or vice versa. So now in this view, I'm gonna bend it so it, uh, it match better the, the ring, so bend. Start of the span, press Alt so it doesn't snap, and roughly at the center. Uh, shift to be straight and of the spine and here you can say symmetric to yes and you don't have to match perfect but something like this would be good move it up I could have done a better job I could redo actually the bend hold shift and because uh, we don't want this to come out a little bit and then I can do another bend here press hold Shift, and you know, something a little bit like this. It follows a bit. Uh, sometimes some images could give you errors, so just uh, choose a different one. And sometimes it's just the location. Sometimes if you move this just a hair, it will work. So don't give up right away. And now we're gonna do a Boolean. And usually Boolean needs two solids. And here we have a solid and a mesh. But as long as they overlap, it should work. So the command is called mesh boolean split. So the mesh to split is the actual object, and uh, the cutting is the height field. Enter. Now you can delete this, and you see we've got this. So we can move that up. 
or even get rid of it. Um, there's better map. This is not the best one. But, uh, and if really quickly you wanted to clean the inside, you could also do a, a cylinder now. Zero. Or shift. Maybe all, so it doesn't all snap too much. Like that. Move it back. Move it a hair down, maybe. Using old. Yeah. And now, because it's a mesh, we have to go mesh, Boolean, uh, Boolean difference. Uh, this one and this one. Voila. And then, you know, the uh, fillet if you need to. 